Hey, what's up guys? This is Brad the Builder. It's a nice crisp early Monday morning. We're heading to the job site where we're building Flair's house. We've got the foundation in right now and we have crews coming with huge semis full of what we call flexicore concrete, which will create a basement underneath this garage. Uh, that's why it's kind of unique. People rarely do this. It is a little bit costly, but the benefits are you now have a huge room under the garage, basically a concrete vault. And with this economy and a market where it's hard to get supplies, uh, I was pretty tickled that we're able to pull this off for Andrew. So this is the house that has to be tore down or moved or somebody wants to buy it and move it out of here. So Andrew's got to kind of figure out cost wise what makes the most sense. This is where my wife goes, your driving's terrible. Going in reverse four miles an hour, how bad yeah. can it get? So what I'm going to do here, since this site's, as you can tell, my trying to find it myself, it's hard to find. But then when they get here, I don't want them passing up with these big semis. So I'm going to stick a big flag that I have made for, usually I put it on my model homes. So this thing, it's the big architecture flag. Let's see if I can get this in the ground. We got some road apples up here showing you we are in the country. Those are not edible. Do you see those in the road there? This ground is hard. Even though today's going to be 50, the ground I think is, well obviously it's still frozen. What's going to happen is I'll get it in a little bit in the frost, then it thaws out and then it'll tip right over. So there we go. I hope people will, they should be able to see that by now. And uh, well, here comes our truck now. They come from an hour away and um, I'm about to find out what he needs me to do, what cars have to be moved out of the way. Is this the crane we're gonna use? No, this is, uh, I just want the guys to help until we're done like Oh, okay. Well, oh, what do you wanna, I'll find the spot. I'll move my truck and then you can yeah, pull down in there. Down. Yeah, okay, awesome. When's uh, when's the uh, Flexicore coming? Supposedly around 10. 10 o'clock? Yeah. Okay, all right, very good. All right, all right. So the home is right off the road, which is not what Andrew wants, and it makes sense because we got so much land. So as you can see, driving down here, the views are spectacular. If you look up here, you can see these guys are trenching. Uh, lay in power because we don't want overhead lines. This will all go underground and all this heavy equipment has been here for months moving dirt building a pond and uh, Now the foundation. Oh, there's Andrew there right now. He brought some toys with him So Andrew we got a lot going on today. What do you think about this? I, I came down here and they're already trenching. Is that trenching power? Yeah, we got your power going in this is going to be a fun day today. We're going yeah. to be setting your garage floor with these thousands of pounds of concrete. So underneath, yeah. we can you'll have a, either a sports court, man yeah. cave. I mean, it's huge. You yeah. you now have a basement under your garage. Which Got it. who does that? But Andrew Flair. We yeah. Do, we do cool stuff out here. You do yeah, do cool stuff. Okay. Well, you brought a toy. Uh, yeah, I didn't bring the the tank, the floating tank. Okay. I figured it wasn't muddy enough. No, for I it, know. So I, yeah. I just brought the side by side. I'm just so impressed what what you picked out here for the view, you know. It's good. Yeah, the little yeah. house was fine, and then <laughs> I uh, thought about keeping yeah. it, but then I was like, oh, I should call Brad, see what he has. In mind. Yeah, yeah. We, we might have some fun with that little house, but <laughs> too bad the city won't let you have two houses yeah. on here. I talked to someone this morning about it too. We might we might fight it. We I might, I think we you might, should. We might get some attorneys involved. So what's going on? You you've got Chad the dirt guy doing more here that I didn't know. What's so that, that hole that, down there? All of that all of that flat ground's gonna be a pond. How many acre pond one. do you think that'll be? It's probably gonna be about four or five acres. It doesn't look big from here, no. but when you look on and you do on maps, about four or five acres. It's big. It's big yeah. yeah, we're gonna need that dirt behind your garage yeah, because yeah. you threw me a curveball when you said we want the garages not from the front no more, but the from back. the back. I know. So we had this big yeah, drop off. Of, there's a lot of dirt. He so, doesn't do it normal, does he? No, he, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's a surprise guy, yeah, which keeps me, guy. keeps me on my toes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, any dirt we need, we have unlimited. And Perfect. It's good, and that, that dirt packs really well. Did you see the road apples at the top of the hill by your mailbox? No. You might need your skid stir to get those out of the way. Really? Well, you got Clydesdales up the road, so yeah, I see that. When, when they eat, it's coming out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> so let's walk up here and show you some stuff that we're, what's happened since we've been here last. The, uh, you can see we've got the waterproofing on the foundation. What we're standing here looking at right here is your garages. They were gonna, we were, we were gonna come down the hill and drive straight in. 
Now we're going to come around behind, yeah. which is a more stately look. Yeah, it looks good. I oh, think. it's if you can get your garages off the front of your house, yeah, onto the side, that's better. It's even better from behind, yeah, right? Got it. Okay. Got it. So is there is there a reason why that doesn't have it on there, or does that still need it? That's the front. Well, we can't see. If you get up a little higher, you can look down in. Okay. So that's your front stoop. This middle one, right? This here. middle. So we're, that's not your house. Your house starts behind there. Oh. See how that's black? Oh wow! Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't even see that, that earlier. Yeah, yeah. That. yeah. Okay. So yes, it's waterproof, but no sense in spending money where it, it will never touch yeah. your house. Okay. Yeah, got it. Okay. So let's walk around. The back of the house we're going around the same way you would be coming with your tr with your truck or your cars there's a lot more space here than i thought what do, what, what do you, you do with this well is this like yard well it'll be yard you okay. know we we don't want you to keep your driveway close to your house because okay. you're coming up with your truck so you're out in the country you have the ability to get your driveway away from your house got it we're in the city you can't yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, let's yeah. get it out here so now you got this big turning radius at yeah. the same time yeah which i need for my truck my yeah car. your truck and yeah. once you get grass and some landscaping, it'll it'll feel like you have a, a, a protection from not going down the hill, right? I was, thought, I was talking about that. I was like, we probably should put a curb or something. So yeah. At night, someone's just gonna eat right off the hill. You know, we can do stuff. Uh, I, when I showed you that big Hoffman house, we did curbs on their driveway, yeah, like okay, which cool. nice holds the landscape up yeah. so it doesn't get into the driveway. Yeah, like it's just a nice little touch, right? Yeah, I like so that. this will curve around. We will have to bring in more up, right? more dirt so right here i'll get a lot of zigzags going on I in see, here I yeah see that. you didn't make it, it wasn't no straight. no it wasn't straight yeah <clears throat> it's easy to build a square house oh yeah that's what yeah, I yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> that's why i have you i, I, I tried to make a square house <laughs> i didn't make it that easy so right? let's go in i'm going to show you the garage we're going to have a double door here that takes you right into like an unfinished storage area and then that is under your garage wow. yeah that's big isn't that impressive yeah let me see how high this is. Yeah, right now, it's 13 feet tall. Okay. And that flexicore is going to set right on this little shelf, on that little ledge, okay? So you'll come down here, you'll have all this volume. There'll be a couple steps down into it. But you could shoot a... Yeah, that's what I want to... I'm thinking yeah. bowling alley. Oh, bowling alley. Bowling alley. That's pretty cool. Hey, I suppose you could. You got a long yeah, wall. You've got, you've got it long enough. Yeah, you do. So that's right. I had a basketball court under my garage, yeah. and um, and that they would play all do kinds everything. of. Yeah. Now they're uh, this is when they're between ages one to twelve, and now they're twenty five, and I'm hearing stories that they did that I didn't. I should oh, not. Have, the yeah. So out. yeah. That, so you might want to put a camera okay, up here. We'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is another way to get in. Oh, to, so two entrances, two, two entrances okay, here. Yeah. Nice. Um, that's cool. So what's, but, what is where we're standing? We're, Do we have to go through a storage room? It'll be really accessible right off your Four Seasons room. If you got kids over and they're playing and the pool, I mean, they literally can go through that door, go in the sports court. It's got kind it. of like a it's extended backyard, but yeah, in, an indoor backyard. Got, got it. Okay. Got Who it. has an indoor backyard? I don't know. Flair. One of the best. Yeah. So this is the wall. Remember, you're asking out front. If you stand back, you can see the little notches sticking up. That's how big your front porch is on your house going for this entire wall. Oh, wow. Okay. Big yeah. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> and okay. if it's big now, it's going to feel bigger when I it's done. I was going to say, everything feels yeah. small until you do yeah. something with yeah. it. Yeah. We're at the stuff. small stage and yeah, we're thinking it's big. Nothing small right now. No. So <laughs> it's going to get bigger. So notice here, this little interior foundation, yeah. this is your sunken media room. Uh, yeah. Movie theater. You knew, no, you knew. Yeah. Just for banjo. He's a big movie guy. Banjo's <laughs> a, his YouTube video. Yeah. We can watch them all right in here. So, You'll come in and we'll have a tiered seating. We so have that screen be over there. Screen, screen will be over there. So then your kids' bedrooms are in here. So when you're in this bedroom, you got views. We did this right oh, when we pond. came out. That's crazy. Yeah, this bedroom can look out at the that, pond. That's wild, yeah. That's crazy. That is the basement. Yeah. That's a basement so, bedroom and you yeah. have a pond. That's People cool. would love to have this on their main floor. Yeah. No so kidding. now we go up another you know, 12, yeah. 14 foot. Can you imagine how your views, you're going to have yeah. a view. Your master bedroom's above this. Yep. So you'll look at that as well. That's yeah, awesome. that'll be cool. And the way you pick the lot and situated it is that that's north, yep. so you'll never get sunlight coming in. Yep. That's straight east, so you get the morning sun, yep, morning and sun. then you'll always have shade on got the it. back. Yeah, you got to stand back here and look at the sheer size of this beast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's and uh, actually, as the foundation world goes, this is pretty cool. Yeah. It's, it, like a it won't take long. It's going to change in a hurry once we start framing. Yeah, so, that'll change it all. so just embrace it and enjoy it. Just take it all in there. Take, Claire. take it all in. It's large. It's big. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Um, 
and from what I've heard from Brad, the foundation is small, it's a big house. So big foundation. It makes me a little nervous. I mean, in a good way, in a good way. I think it's in good hands with Brad. Brad I kind of, I feel like I kind of gave him an idea, said I want this many bedrooms, my wife helped me out. And then I just gave him the keys to the car. And now he's, he's driven it and I haven't even been out here to check on it or hear any updates. And so he walked me through it today. And I mean, I, there's nothing I would change. He's thought of everything. He thinks of the stuff that you would never think about. So overall, I'm freaking stoked. Okay, looks like the crew's here with the crane. We'll have to find out what trucks we got to move to set up a site. Is there a certain spot we need to clear out for you guys to set up? Are you checking her out first? I'm going to check it out first. Okay. I'm not for sure. All right. <laughs> Man, where'd you come from? How far? Lincoln. Oh, Lincoln. Yep. So we got a nice little hour and a half drive? Two hours. Two hours? Maybe a little more. Oh, <laughs> All right. Look at the wheels on this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11 times 2, 22 tires. So Pat with OPPD, he's a different crew that's than what's setting the Flexicore. So we got to share the road. We got a semi in the way that we have to get out of the way so Pat can start pulling cable and it would go pretty quick. So we want to stay ahead of the crew that's showing up with the semi loads of Flexicore concrete. So I got to get that truck moved and get Pat moving so right, everything close. All right, this is typical construction. Let me talk to these, get the walker boys over here to move the semi. Hey guys, could not, that, that rig, that semi, could that get moved? What we got is OPPD wants to try to jump in ahead of you guys. If they can move that, your, that semi with the flat low boy on it, they'll okay. put their cable real quick in that ditch and they'll be out of here. Okay, that guy in the neon. He's, he's the driver? Yeah, he's the driver. Okay, we can just pull it right like, down here, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll tell them what, that's how we're gonna do it. Yeah. So everybody's happy. Okay, thanks. To keep all the crews happy, it's a little bit like I'm like the football coach trying to keep the prima donnas at bay. So we'll get OPPD to hold off for a second till this big rig comes down with all the first load of Flexicore. There's more to come. And while they're setting that first load, OPPD can be putting their cable in the ground. They can get done and get out of here. Okay. Are you uh, are you driving that? Are you the driver? Yes, sir. Oh, you do got the scoop. What we're doing, we're just gonna pull that out of the way. Yep. I need to put her right next to our. That's fine. Yeah, so. put her right. You want this okay. truck out of the way? If you don't yeah. mind. Yeah, I'll move yeah. that one. That's easy. All right. I'll, hey. After I'm, after I'm in there, I can go right. You can go no. right back there. No. Okay. So. Hey, Andrew, can you move this yeah, I truck? Move. I was just gonna pull it way in the back. Yeah, just go way down the back. You'll be I'm fine down there. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Okay. I, once okay. I get this cable in the ground, these guys are gone. It's, okay. it's all yours. Awesome. This is a beautiful place. Though. Isn't this awesome? It is, is there a horn on that truck? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me hear that. <laughs> there we go. So do the little, do this here. Here they are. They're getting ahead of us, but <clears throat> since they've started, we might as well just keep them going. And that will keep peace. They were here first. We'll let them finish their job. And then we'll let these big rigs come in. So it gets to be where <clears throat> if one guy thinks he got here first and someone's working over the top of him, also, I've seen it where everybody gets mad and they all leave. Uh, who wins on that deal? So right now it's peaceful, trying to keep it peaceful and productive all at the same time. So this is the power that we're running from the top of the hill to the bottom. And then we're gonna slide that in that ditch they just dug so Flair can get underground power to his house, which will also go to his barn. We're, we're just trying to show the people uh, that are building houses, really what goes into them. I mean, it's great when you see the kitchen all done. For me, this is the best part. I love big equipment on job sites. And right. who gets a crane? Not very often, right? right? So tell us a little bit about what you have to do to get set up. And you're gonna put your outriggers yes. out. Put pads down, put our shoes on. Okay. And uh, will there just be one on each side or do you have a total of four? four. Front, four. is there not? Oh, I yeah. see. And what's on this rig over here? What, those are your weights? Those are the counterweights, yeah. Now, will you be, you gotta be sitting those up right now? The yeah. counterweights on? You gotta hang those on the back of the crane. Ah, oh, wow, okay. So right now, this guy's, he's got the crane rigged up with the outriggers. So now he's got to get the crane set up with the counterweights. This semi right here's only job is to bring all those weights to counterbalance when that crane extends out, it, it 
the uh, actual crane itself does not tip over. So check out the weight of how big these things are. What kind of tonnage do you think these are? Do you have any idea? 40,000 pounds. So that should, that should keep you on the ground where it's supposed to. So to give you some idea, these guys left uh, a town that's two hours away and now they have a, like another hour and a half of setup. So three and a half hours before anything can get done. And then they have to do it all in reverse again once they're done working and head back home. So probably a good five to six hours of just setup and takedown time before they can do their job. Okay, you can see we got the last of the weight set. So now we're gonna be bringing down the Flexicore. The OPPD is out of the way. So it looks like our timing's working out just great. They'll probably pull off to the side or maybe go clear up the top and then we'll start bringing down one rig after another. Again, they came from Kansas. So they've been on the road a while and they're anxious to get things offloaded. So the quicker we keep them going, the happier everybody is. Hey, morning. Morning. All the way from Kansas? Oh yeah. How far is the drive? About 260 something. I think. So you got about what, three, four hours, four hours? Oh, Five? Yeah. yeah. Then I live 100 miles from where we loaded. Oh my gosh. So yeah, you, you haven't, you just didn't even go to bed. You just went right from dinner to yeah. in, in your truck, huh? Got up at two in the morning. Oh, that's what I figured, two. Wow. So these guys work hard. You know, that's what a lot of people don't fully appreciate. But right now, we're setting up the second one. It's got anchors into the thing so when they set these chains up they can hook into it and then the rope is what they use to guide it they call that a tag line so you on that rope what's amazing as heavy as that is once it's off the ground you can take with hardly any uh, pressure move that thing around so you got that'll help stop the swing and it helps guide it into place Robert, thanks for getting up at two in the morning to come down and get us our garage floor. You have a safe drive back to Kansas. You can, all right. And uh, once you get in that rig, does this thing have a horn on it? Yeah. Let me see me hear that thing. That's a horn. You know, I really love these guys. They're uh, hardworking, and what I love about them is they really care about what they do. They're doing the right thing. They're not here to impress anybody. They just want to do a good job, and uh, I think it's important that we show the respect because without these hardworking guys, these homes don't get built. All right, guys, we're one truck down, one more to go. As Robert heads out, we'll see who the next driver is coming down from Kansas. <laughs> I like these big trucks. <laughs> you think there's a horn on this truck, too? We're going to find out. How yep. the top one, top one's squared off. This one's at an angle, and this one's at an angle, and those are angles. So you can even, if you don't have a square garage, not a problem. They can custom design these things to fit on the angles, which is pretty cool. So to me, this is one of the fun days of construction when you uh, are going at this kind of more of a commercial type level. You rarely get to see this stuff on residential construction, which makes it fun for me. <laughs> and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. To, to Man. Thousands of pounds just... Look, it's just barely touching the wall. Those guys are good. But the crane operator is 60 feet away, and he's getting that specific, unable to get this huge hunk of concrete within a quarter of an inch of the wall without knocking it out. That's impressive. Now he closes in on it and he just slides it right down the wall. This angle piece is a little trickier than the square ones. Yeah, that's looking good. How does that make you feel? Well, it's, those guys make it look real easy. My job was just to come up with the idea and then they are the ones that measure it, get it exactly right and set it into place. So or they're the ones that do make me look good, I should say. It does make it look no, like I probably shouldn't go be wall. beneath them, right? So yeah, uh, you should falls. be good. Yeah. The, oh, they're not gonna fall, dude. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> you let you walk first, though. Yeah, you go first. Dude, this <laughs> looks longer. Shoot! Bunker. Wow. Dude, it looks so much bigger with the lid on. Like, so much bigger. Like, it looked big, but now you got it actually like that. Like, it doesn't seem taller, too. It seems a lot taller. A lot taller. This is crazy. You, if there's a storm, 
You won't even know. No. My house could get blown away by a tornado, and I don't think you would even know. No, this is still going to be. It's still going to be. It's still going to be. <laughs> so I know where this I'm coming when I see a tornado. I'm yeah. driving to Flair's house. This is crazy. Isn't it cool? And it's just crazy. They're going to put concrete on top of it. Yes. And then we're going to park cars, park on, cars top on top of, of that. And, they're, and it spans that far. Isn't that fantastic? That is just, it's just peace of mind. It's been engineered. So yeah. we, we just didn't cross our fingers going, <laughs> let's hope this works yeah. for Flair. Wow. But uh, yeah. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, love it. So I'm, the last second switching ideas, the garage and then excavate under, I think are worth the headaches that they cost. So. That was a good, good, good thing. It's a good, good last so second. Thought, I'm sure so. we'll find a few more like that, but this yeah. is a home run. You'll never be sorry that you did no. this. No, this looks really good. I'm stoked. So what's so what's next? So next we start framing. 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 Next week we got the framers coming out, so there'll be all kinds of big semis bringing in all the lumber loads. Got it. This is not like one semi and we drop off like yeah, semis. I imagine. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. And uh, wow. so that'll all start next week. Fingers crossed the weather keeps holding for us. Yeah. Uh, looks like it will. And um, that'll be, we'll come back out again and yep. watch the different stages of that. Because yeah. if you think this is big, that's yeah. getting bigger. Yeah, good deal. Yeah. Well, appreciate you having me out. You bet. All this right. Was, uh, this was good. I'm glad we're making progress. It well, seemed like it took forever to get started with everything, but now it's like, yeah, it through. always takes forever to come out of the ground. Yeah. Design, grading, yeah. footings are not too exciting. Yeah. Now we got a foundation, which is cool, but framing is probably my favorite stage. Oh, yeah. Because you could go to lunch, come yeah. back in two hours, and there's three walls are up. Yeah, got it. So it goes quick. Yeah. Okay, we wrapped up everything with Flair. He's happy with everything that's going on. We uh, got the Flexicore set for the bunker and I just got done talking to him about another project he wants me to do is build a uh, kind of a barnuminium on his property here. So we're going over the sizes and the best way to figure out where to get vehicles and trucks and trailers around it, how to park it. So that'll be another video that we'll take a look at. Thanks for hanging in with me today and make sure you like comment and subscribe down below and we'll see some more fun stuff coming your way soon.